Role of the Pilot Examiner Pilot and Flight Instructor Certificates are issued by the FAA upon satisfactory completion of the required knowledge and practical tests. The administration of practical tests is an FAA responsibility that may occur at the FISDO level. However, in order to satisfy the public need for pilot testing and certification services, the FAA delegates certain responsibilities, as the need arises, to private individuals who are not FAA employees. A designated pilot examiner, DPE, is a private citizen who is designated as a representative of the FAA administrator to perform specific but limited pilot certification tasks on behalf of the FAA and may charge a reasonable fee for doing so. Generally, a DPE's authority is limited to accepting applications and conducting practical tests leading to the issuance of specific pilot certificates and or ratings. A DPE operates under the direct supervision of the FISDO that holds the examiner's designation file. A FISDO inspector is assigned to monitor the DPE's certification activities. The FAA selects highly qualified individuals to be DPEs. These individuals have good industry reputations for professionalism, high integrity, a demonstrated willingness to serve the public, and adhere to FAA policies and procedures in certification matters. A DPE is expected to administer practical tests with the same degree of professionalism using the same methods, procedures, and standards as an FAA ASI. Note that a DPE is not an FAA ASI. A DPE cannot initiate enforcement action, investigate accidents, or perform surveillance activities on behalf of the FAA. However, the majority of FAA practical tests at the recreational, private, and commercial pilot level are administered by DPEs. Role of the Flight Instructor The Flight Instructor is the cornerstone of aviation safety. The FAA has adopted an operational training concept that places full responsibility for pilot training on the Flight Instructor. In this role, the instructor assumes total responsibility for providing training in all the knowledge areas and skills necessary for pilots to operate safely and competently in a national airspace system, NAS. This training includes airmanship skills, pilot judgment and decision making, hazard identification, risk analysis, and good operating practices. See Risk Management Handbook FAA H8083-2. A flight instructor normally meets broad flying experience requirements, passes rigid knowledge and practical tests, and demonstrates the ability to apply recommended teaching techniques before being certificated. A pilot training program is dependent on the quality of the ground and flight instruction given. A good flight instructor has a thorough understanding of the learning process, knowledge of the fundamentals of instruction, and the ability to communicate effectively with the learner. A good flight instructor uses a syllabus and insists on correct techniques and procedures from the beginning of training so that the learner will develop proper habit patterns. The syllabus should embody the building block method of instruction in which the learner systematically progresses from the known to the unknown. The course of instruction should be laid out so that each new maneuver embodies the principles involved in the performance of those previously undertaken. Consequently, through each new subject introduced, the learner not only learns a new principle or technique, but also broadens the application of those previously learned and has their deficiencies in the previous maneuvers emphasized and made obvious. The flying habits of the flight instructor both during flight instruction and as observed by learners when conducting other pilot operations have a vital effect on safety. Learners consider their flight instructor to be a paragon of flying proficiency whose flying habits they consciously or unconsciously attempt to imitate. For this reason, a good flight instructor meticulously observes the safety practices taught to the learners. Additionally, a good flight instructor carefully observes all regulations and recognized safety practices during all flight operations. A prospective pilot should know that there are differences among flight instructors. Certain instructors who have performed at a high level have earned a Gold Seal Flight Instructor Certificate. This is not a requirement when looking for a flight instructor, but it is an indication of an active and successful instructor. Top-notch instructors also participate in the Pilot Proficiency Award WINGS program to improve their proficiency and to serve as an example to learners who also benefit from program participation. Generally, an individual who enrolls in a pilot training program is prepared to commit considerable time effort and expense in pursuit of a pilot certificate. 
A trainee may judge effectiveness of a flight instructor and the overall success of the pilot training program solely in terms of being able to pass a requisite FAA practical test. A good flight instructor is able to communicate that evaluation through practical tests is a mere sampling of pilot ability that is compressed into a short period of time. The flight instructor's role is to train the total pilot. Sources of flight training the major sources of flight training in the United States include FAA approved pilot schools and training centers, non-certificated 14 CFR Part 61 flying schools and independent flight instructors. FAA approved schools are those flight schools certificated by the FAA as pilot schools under 14 CFR Part 141. Application for a Part 141 certification is voluntary and the school needs to meet specific requirements for personnel, equipment, maintenance and facilities. The school operates each course offering in accordance with the established curriculum that includes a training course outline TCO, approved by the FAA. Each TCO contains enrollment prerequisites, a detailed description of each lesson including standards and objectives, expected accomplishments and standards for each stage of training and a description of the checks and tests used to measure each training course enrollee's accomplishments. An FAA approved pilot school air agency certificate expires and needs to be renewed every two years. Renewal is contingent upon proof of continued high quality instruction and a minimum level of instructional activity. Training at an FAA certificated pilot school is structured and because of this structured environment the graduates of these pilot schools are allowed to meet the certification experience requirements of 14 CFR Part 61 with less flight time. Many FAA certificated pilot schools have DPEs on staff to administer FAA practical tests. Some schools have been granted examining authority by the FAA. A school with examining authority for a particular course or courses has the authority to recommend its graduates for pilot certificates or ratings without further testing by the FAA. A list of FAA certificated pilot schools and their training courses can be found at https av-info.faa.gov slash pilotschool.asp FAA approved training centers are certificated under 14 CFR Part 142. Training centers like certificated pilot schools operate in a structured environment with approved courses and curricula and stringent standards for personnel, equipment, facilities, operating procedures and record keeping. Training centers certificated under 14 CFR Part 142, however, specialize in the use of flight simulation for flight simulators and flight training devices in their training courses. There are a number of flying schools in the United States that are not certificated by the FAA. These schools operate under the provisions of 14 CFR Part 61. Many of these non-certificated flying schools offer excellent training and meet or exceed the standards required of the FAA approved pilot schools. Flight instructors employed by non-certificated flying schools as well as independent flight instructors meet the same basic 14 CFR Part 61 flight instructor requirements for certification and renewal as those flight instructors employed by the FAA certificated pilot schools. In the end, any training program is dependent upon the quality of ground and flight instruction a learner receives. Practical tests for FAA pilot certificates and associated ratings are administered by FAA inspectors and DPEs using FAA Airman Certification Standards ACS, and Practical Test Standards PTS, which contain structured areas of operation, tasks and standards. 14 CFR Part 61, Section 6143 specifies that the practical test consists of the task specified in the areas of operation for the airman certificate or rating sort. To pass the test, the applicant demonstrates mastery of the aircraft performing each task successfully, proficiency and competency within the approved standards and sound judgment. It should be emphasized that the ACS and PTS are testing documents rather than teaching documents. Although the pilot applicant should be familiar with these books and refer to the standards they contain during training, the ACS and PTS are not intended to be used as a training syllabus. They contain the standards to which maneuvers and procedures on FAA practical tests should be performed and the FAA policies governing the administration of practical tests. 
An appropriately rated flight instructor is responsible for training a pilot applicant to the acceptable standards in all subject matter areas, procedures and maneuvers included in and encompassed by the tasks within each area of operation in the appropriate ACS or PTS. Flight instructors and pilot applicants should always remember that safe, competent piloting requires commitment to learning, planning and risk management that goes beyond rote performance of the maneuvers. Descriptions of tasks and information on how to perform maneuvers and procedures are contained in reference and teaching documents such as this handbook. A list of reference documents is contained in the appendices of each ACS and PTS. It is necessary that the latest version of the PTS and ACS with all recent changes be referenced for training. All recent versions and changes to the FAA ACS and PTS may be viewed or downloaded at FAA.gov.